Ooh, look who's first. Second place, place is the first, first loser. loser. Hello. Hi. Grub, thanks for getting second. Ben, or first, not second, first. Uh, ben, thanks for getting second. I was looking at Ben redeeming second <laughs> when I said that. Homer Simpson, welcome in. Gamer Merlin, welcome in. I need to figure out where the heck this little like gadget thing is to tighten this because it keeps just like falling. Leo guy, hello. Fred, I can't come soon enough. I'm sorry. How are you? How is everybody? Hello, hello. So, um, Sundays are supposed to kind of be like productivity co-working-esque streams. Um, but, and I do have stuff I need to do. <laughs> but I figured that like today... I have a lot of stuff. You see this behind me? I I spent way too much money. <laughs> way too much money. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys what I got at too many games today. <laughs> yeah, stuff. I don't I went crazy. Um, Kimmy, you look like you're ready for a tropical vacation. So and I don't know if you can tell I'm a little like sunburnt 
maybe not sunburn, but I got color. I went um, paddle boarding this morning. The title and category. What do you mean? What does it say? Oh, I didn't update it. Oh my gosh. It should be updated now. Shoot. I typed it, but apparently I didn't update it. I didn't hit done. It's good now. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got... Whoa, so I'm sorry. I, like... Mm, I wasn't gonna show you guys what I got, but then in, in the Discord... What? I think, Homer, it was you that you wanted a... Uh, too many games or like con, con review convention review or whatever i can't remember what you said the exact phrase um and i was like yeah sure but like to be honest with you i just most of it was shopping <laughs> um there was a lot of stuff that there was a lot of stuff there and a lot of stuff that um you could do but most of the time was spent shopping so why would you not show and tell about it i just don't like i just don't want to make anybody feel like dang like you got all that stuff or whatever i did get you guys something that i'll do a little giveaway for it's not anything huge so i i'm sorry but i did i did see some stuff and i was like oh this could make a pretty good giveaway um and I'm, I might have to add more to it. We'll see. Um, but I think about you guys, I promise I do. <laughs> um, and so we'll, we're, we'll definitely do a giveaway somehow, some way. Um, and then, yeah, so like the con, like I've never been to a gaming convention before. Uh, this was my first time and Min, Nintendo Gaming, let me like, um, I think that's right. Yeah, so that's Min right there um, and all about her and what she does. Um, Nintendo is utterly delightful strawberry cow enthusiast who's been on a cozy gaming spree from fa farming sims with a side of chaos to exploring galaxies and being a professional goober. Min's streams are all about that warm fuzzy feeling. They've been racking up those plus points thanks to their wholesome community. Uh, will they find smooshy, navigate parenthood, or just chill in a cozy caravan. Tune in for the music and stay for good vibes. Um, if you don't know anything about Min, she's a big, like, cozy streamer. Um, so she does a lot of cozy games, farming sim games, and stuff like that. But she's just the absolute sweetest. And so she invited me and some others to go to Too Many Games. Um, and so I was like, heck yeah, I want to come meet you <laughs> and like the others and, and all that stuff. Katie's Ranny cosplay was good. That was not Katie. <laughs> um, that was just some random person that I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get a picture. Um, Mangles thought it was Katie. Um, so, ooh, I wonder if I can bring up pictures and we'll talk. So, let's see, let's bring up the whole, oh no, 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 it's in the Discord. I wonder if I can, oh, oh no, it's all, it's all good. It was, it was great, it was so good, it was so good. Um, I have a little Discord channel just for the people that went and I'll like show you who's who and stuff like that. Um, window capture, we'll get Discord. Yeah, I think that, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So if you look here, um, so you got me here, you know, in all my glory. Um, <laughs> and then you have, this is Katie here. And Katie is so tall. <laughs> I mean, 
I I wasn't expecting her to be so tall. And you can tell she's even like slouching a little bit. And Min and I both are like, girl, you gotta stand in your power. Be, you know, stand up straight. <laughs> um, but so this is Katie in the middle. And then this is Min or Nintendo Gaming. Um, and then this is her, uh, gosh, let me get it right. I think her husband's cousin, I think. And then this is C's, who's a uh, part of Min's community. And then this is Salty, who is one of Min's mods. Um, all of them were so great. It was such a good time. Um, had so much fun. But yeah, that what that one picture of me with the uh, is it? Do you say it, Ronnie or Ranny? Ronnie, that was a total random cosplayer. Yeah, it was so it was so fun. That was so sweet and salty. I had I had never met any of them. This was my first time meeting all of them. And salty uh, got me and Katie and I pins when we first met, and so he got me this. Uh, this little like link pin. Oh gosh, can you see that? It's so cute. So we got, I got a little pin from Salty. Um, but yeah, so like the convention basically, the when you walk in, you go and get your like your um, lanyard, which I'm, I think, I think mine's like somewhere in one of these bags over here. And then you walk in and like the first thing you see are like giant stages and that's where they do a lot of their um what do they call those like panels and stuff like that where you can where they like give you a bunch of information you ask questions and then you like turn off into this other room and it's just tons of booths of like fan art and like video games they had so much retro stuff i didn't buy any games um, how to be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, oh, like that would be a panel, how to be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> yeah, I should have went to that one. They actually did have one for like voice acting. Um, I didn't get the beginning of it. I got like, I was too busy shopping. <laughs> um, but I, I got the end of it where a lot of people were asking questions and stuff like that and how to get into voice acting. Um, but I thought I did at least catch a part of it where she was talking about how to prepare your voice for voice acting, which that was nice. Cause then I was like, Ooh, whenever I do like the Zelda streams and I'm doing all the different voices for all the characters that maybe I can use these techniques to help my voice. So that way at the end of stream, I'm not like dying or something like I usually am. Um, but yeah, so we had, there was that, that was, and then there was a neurodivergent panel where it was like talking about neurodivergent people and gaming and how like they can help. Um, being someone who I, I'm pretty sure I was diagnosed at a young age with ADHD and never took any like medication and stuff. I ended up on my phone half the time because it was, they didn't do a very good a job of like making it interactive or like, you know, something that keeps your attention <laughs> while, while they're talking about all this stuff, which I feel like is what you need for that. Um, but those were the only two like panels that I actually was able to attend or got to attend. Um, and they had some others too. Um, and then there was a whole area, which I put on my schedule cause you have, you could get an app and it like tells you all the different places that you can go to. Um, and it'll like send you reminders of when things are happening. There was so many gaming competitions and I was wanting to at least like watch some of them, but I ended up not watching any of them. <laughs> and so I kind of like, I've, a few of us were talking about like, would you go, if you come back, would you go and try to watch like, uh, or try to go for like one day or multiple days? Cause it's like a three day weekend kind of thing. And we only went on Saturday. And I feel like you definitely need to go two days. One day just for like looking at all the booths and the fan art and the shopping. And then the other day to like do panels and, and gaming competitions. Cause they had like, um, I think Min's, like, cousin, or, you know, like, Min's husband's cousin. I don't know if you c consider them cousins when they're 
not your blood, but like you marry it. Anyways, um, he did like a Mario, I think it was Mario Kart competition. And he won the, or like, I think he said he won the first one, but then he got knocked out on the second one. Um, but yeah, they had like Mario Kart and they had Birdie's Sedai. Is that how you say that? I consider Mint to be my, oh, your cousin. Okay. Well, thank you. Yay. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> you could tell me that. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. I was like, not sure how you would say that. Uh, Sedai, like that, Sedai. Uh, there are probably some Giga Gamers there. I'm sure a birdie could probably tell you Because <laughs> he was the only one that actually did any of that. I think right none of the rest of us We were all just busy wandering around um, But what they had Mario Kart they had um, Smash Brothers of course uh, They had Tetris they even had like Halo competitions I saw on there uh, there were so many like so many different competitions you won the first round yeah of Mario Kart 8 but then lost the second round okay it was the round I thought it was like the game you won the first game and then the second but okay okay that's still good though like at least you didn't l lose first that would have been me I would have lost first <laughs> um but yeah so there, there was a bunch of gaming competitions, and I didn't, I didn't do any of those. But it was, there was so much shopping, and I should have pulled out cash and had a limit, but I didn't know what I was walking into, and I am, I am working on it. I've done, I have like, I go in waves where I'm really good about not spending money, and then I'm really bad about spending money. I am somewhat of an impulse shopper. <laughs> And even though we walked around and I took pictures of things and then was gonna like go back and decide what I wanted just like Katie did because that is like her, that was her idea and I was like, that's a smart idea, I should do that. And then I ended up buying everything I took a picture of anyways, <laughs> except for a couple things. But the couple things that I didn't were like small things so it really wouldn't have made that much of a difference anyways. Um, okay, but are you guys ready to like see what I got? <laughs> or do you have any questions about uh, like what else maybe was there? There Oh, there was also too like um, an area for signing and stuff that you could get like autographs, but I don't really know. Like I'm so not familiar with voice actors. I'm not familiar with game developers or anything like that I'm I just like oh this game looks cool and I play it and then I'm like okay on to the next game um so they did show pictures of con areas oh god I only I was so just enthralled by everything that I didn't actually get pictures of anything <laughs> I am the worst blogger video recorder whatever Paul, hey, I like your shirt. Thank you. It's actually a jumper, I think. Is that what you call it? Like, oh, here's another outfit you could say yes or no to. Paul says he likes it. Romper is a romper. Yeah, okay. I'm a bad female if I don't know what it is. <laughs> um, Show the picture of the con areas. I'm wondering if like, okay, there's some stuff. So like, Let's see here. So this was one of the panels. Um, some I didn't take this picture. Somebody else took it. Um, but this is this was like one of the panels. This is one of the bigger ones, I'd say, because um, there were some that was not on a stage as big as this with all the lighting and stuff. There was kind of like a little bit smaller. Uh, or other pictures on con socials. I can look. I can look. Um, there is an ad starting in a minute. You saw the picture? Well, I have tons of pictures of like all of us together, but I don't have pictures of like the actual convention. Win summer outfit? Okay, it looks like we're keeping this outfit. Oh, Ray gave me a shout out. What the heck? What is she doing? Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. But yeah, con shopping is so bad. You guys gotta see, it's, I've got too much stuff. 
<laughs> um, okay. I, ugh. We're starting in 20, the bad's coming in like 25 seconds or whatever. Um, what? So that was, oh, here's like how busy it was. I don't know if you guys can see this. All these people. So this was like the shopping area. <laughs> I'll try to find some pictures on the website though. Who is the red girl in the picture? Red haired girl? That's Nintendo Gaming or Min. She's the one that invited me. Um, it yeah, it was big. The Fizz, Dada Burn. Thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, Fizz. Thank you, thank you. Um, I <laughs> girl. But yeah, so. This ad's probably playing right now. Let me see if I can find the website of Too Many Games and see if they have um, some like pictures and stuff. Oh my gosh, what is this? Birdie, thank you so much for the follow. Boosted, thank you for the follow. What is, it's probably because of Ray's shout out. What is she doing? I don't know. But yeah, it was pretty big. Um, let me see if I can find pictures, 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 pictures. How would I find pictures? Oh, maybe on those social medias? Instagram? Oh, no, they don't have any. They don't really have any pictures. Um. Yep, she shot you out again at 3D Prince. Hello, welcome in. Yeah, I, I have my uh, activity feed up, so I did see that she shouted me out. Hi there from Race Me. Hello, Boosted. How are you? Shout out doing his job. I know, right? You look pretty. Thank you, Merlin. Thank you. I was told to be here from Ray. Now back to food. Yeah, go back to food. She's making some good stuff. I need to pop in there soon. I mean, I was already in there, but. Um. Uh, hmm, 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 hmm. I'm trying to find, okay, so there's find more. You got tickets and location, guests, concerts, things to do, hotels. They don't have anything. Puppet, oh yeah, that's my baby Bentley. Yeah, the little baby. Um, okay, well let me show you like, um, can I like do, no? What if I put this on its own thing and then I do, there we go. Okay, so, well this is the Too Many Games website. I don't know if that helps anything. They didn't have any pictures on any of their stuff, but they had like arcade areas, arcade tournaments, board games. Uh, they did have like, trading card game like magic the gathering card games and stuff like that they had cosplay contests um they did have a bunch of people for signatures and that you could like meet them they did have a, an escape room that i kind of was interested in but we didn't do that um i don't remember seeing any car shows so i don't know why that's on there um but yeah. Did you play the Warhammer 40? No. I've never played Warhammer. I'm not a Warhammer person. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know why they don't have any like pictures. Schedule is live. Work in progress. I wonder if you can... Um... They had a live stream of the event. I thought. Uh, oh yeah. Day one. Do they have? Are they live right now? No. Day two. Here. Can you see this? Oh, what if we find? <gasps> what if I like watch it, and then like, you know, we find me win video. <gasps> Moon Dagger, thank you so much for the follow. L marketing. Yeah, they don't have any pictures on the website. But yeah. Oh, hey. <laughs> I think I see like some of us. Hold on. Yeah, like, wait, there's Min right there and Salty. I don't know where I am. 
<laughs> that's so funny that I literally clicked it like right on <laughs> shit that's see it is. That's hilarious. I can't believe I clicked it right on. There's C's. I have no idea where me and Katie are though. But yeah, so this is like uh one of the areas. Is this all in the same no it's not, okay. That's yeah, that's so crazy. I don't I didn't even like this is my first time looking at this. I know when we were in it, I did see like posters up around saying like, oh, we're live streaming the event and stuff like that. So yeah, they had which is kind of cool. I guess they just live streamed it on YouTube. Trying to see if so they have panels. So this was the voice acting lady. She was talking all about voice acting. We did. I did catch the end of of that one. Um. Did you get any cool collectible? Yeah. I I'll show you what I got. Dang, they had wrestling there. I didn't even know they had wrestling. What the heck? Can we listen to her for a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully it's okay and I don't get like um. You know, whatever the heck you want to call it. Can I like, hold on. I'm going to pause this. If I can get my mouse to work properly. Okay, wait. Um. <laughs> um, so, a little bit about me. Um, I've done video game work. I've done some animation. Wrestling, um, I know, right? I've done commercials. Rocket done League. Indie work, things like that. Um, so, yeah, so let's get started. Okay, okay, so the so first, first thing, thing that we're going to talk about oh, is the wrestling equipment. Thing is your happening. equipment is very okay. important. It's, it's going, going to range in pricing. Obviously, Obviously you're not going to want to go out and get a $400 microphone, microphone when you're brand new and you're, and you're just starting out. out. So, so I have, I have a, couple a couple that I'm going to give you a list of the ones that we recommend. And again, like I said, they are going to range from like $30 up to 1000 Okay. Dang, so a thousand. The recommend is the Homer, are you going to be doing some voice acting? AT 2020. Audio Technica AT2020. I feel like I'm playing, I'm playing bingo. bingo. It is a little bingo. -esque. It's like bingo, but with really expensive yeah, equipment. Bingo, if you get it, guys. Yeah. yeah. Bingo. bingo. Love it. Bingo, bingo for, for equipment. equipment. Awesome. awesome. The, the second, second one is the road R O D E in all caps N T two A. Anyone have bingo? I'm just kind of like an audio snob, to be honest. Oh, you're all good. Third one is do you want sure do you want to at least just listen to what she's suggesting? S M seven B as in boy. I think that's what I have. That sounds the familiar. Is the Newman N E U M A N N T L. No, I just wanted to see what it was like. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So like, um, they had her. I, so you were saying the wrestling was happening at the same time as the Mario Kart and the voice acting? Dang, they were here just... Okay, so Smash Tournament. I have no idea what this one was. Uh, I didn't realize they had singing and concerts going on. That's cool. I wonder if this was in the evening. We left before the whole thing actually ended, too. That was a celebrity guy, you think it was? This guy? Uh, the voice actor dude? Oh, wait, this guy? One of these guys? Uh, yeah, it was really hard to hear them call our names over the body slams. Oh, jeez. For the Mario Kart tournament? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think I know any of these people. I'm so, like, I don't know anybody. And I think somebody... I don't, it wasn't at the event, this game, but I can't remember who I was talking to. And I was telling him I didn't know anybody because I just try to focus on the people that are like in my life and that I know rather than like, I mean, yeah, I know some things about some celebrity type people, but I don't know a ton. So just tons of concert. Um... Oh, here's like the beginning, I guess. So like kind of showing you like what was around. Yeah, they had tons of booths, tons of arcade. Did you go to any con nah? We left at like what time did we leave, Birdie? Like 
five, six, maybe. And then we went and got food. <laughs> we were all so hungry afterwards. Um, cause we, we brought in food too, so that we didn't have to like buy the concession food and wait in line. Yeah, Pennsylvania. It, yeah, six, it was six-ish, I think. Cause we didn't get back to, uh, like Katie and I didn't, and Min didn't get back to Min's place until like eight-ish, I think. And then... No, it had to be later than that because we got food. It was definitely later than that. I didn't get home till like midnight, <laughs> I think. It was crazy. Uh, but yeah, so there's uh, all these booths and stuff like that. There was like s lines that you could, you know, get autographs from people. There's the uh, Halo tournaments and stuff. Um, but yeah. Okay, you guys want to see what I got? I want to see what I got. Put the music back on. Um, I think we left closer to five because we caught the end of the Phillies game at the right. Yeah, probably five because we also had to wait for like 20 30 minutes for food, too. Um, but yeah, what should I show first? Do you want to see, um, I got a lot of t-shirts and a lot of wall art because I want to replace, I want to replace these. Like, I want nice looking art rather than my drawings from like high school and middle school. Actual P.O. Box stream. I mean, I have a P.O. Box. I've only been sent one or two things. Um... But, that, I mean, I'd be down for a P.O. Boxing on opening stream someday, but I think that'd be, like, years in my future. <laughs> um, okay. I got a lot of t-shirts and just a lot of wall art or things I could put on my wall. That's pretty much it. I thought I would get a plushie or two, but I actually didn't get any plushies, which is fine because I don't know how much room I have on my little plushie corner. <laughs> um, but, yeah, okay, so... This, do you guys want to see, uh, I feel like, I feel bad because like when I, I have so much stuff for myself and I did get stuff for you guys for a giveaway, but I don't know like if you guys will like what I got. <laughs> uh, okay. So I got this. I know we have some Pokemon lovers in in the chat uh it did get a little i feel bad it did get a little bent i'm trying like not to bend it quit 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 so there's this poster here of all the starter pokemon from the original 150. holy yeah so this one i was thinking could be a giveaway if I can mail it without it getting damaged. <laughs> I just need to get a tube. A um, tube mailer. Wow, that's cool. You like it, Fry? Hello, welcome in. Yeah, so this will be somebody special in chat one day when I can figure out how I'm going to do the giveaway. You love it. Which starter is your favorite out of these? I think I usually always go with Charmander. Squirtle's like probably my second favorite. I, I'm sorry, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Bulbasaur, but. <laughs> um, okay. <gasps> this one was kind of. I, oh, I wanted this so bad when I saw it. Bulbasaur fan seething. I know. I like Bulbasaur, but. I don't know. Squirtle, Squirtle's my second choice, I think, usually. Okay, you guys are gonna, like, I think you guys are gonna like this one. Hold on. Maybe I should, like, put this up so you can actually see my face. There we go. Okay. You ready? This is mine. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, I'll get to the other giveaway one here soon. 
but this is made out of wood. And they like painted it. You see it? It's so cool. And it's all like carved. So I'm thinking I'll probably put it like up in this corner here. Because what I want to do is like, I want to get my whole desk set up over here, like all Zelda related so that I can like take videos for reels for Instagram. So I was like, I need a bunch of Zelda stuff. But yeah, I thought this was so cool. Yeah. Okay. And then I got a bunch of t-shirts for myself too. I'm probably going to end up cropping them. Um... Okay, are there any uh, Studio Ghibli fans in, in the chat? Or Godzilla fans in the chat? Bumble, hello, hello, how are you doing? Okay, ready for this t-shirt? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. I'm showing all of the stuff I got from Too Many Games. <laughs> Totorozilla! Nice! <laughs> yeah, so I'm thinking I'll probably... I don't know, I might like crop this. Maybe not. I might leave it as is. Who knows? But yeah. Love the mashup, right? There's some good mashups. There's some good ones. Okay, so I got that. Um... And then, so, <laughs> I actually should have saved this one, Homer, because I would have been able to tell you by just showing you this shirt what my favorite starter Pokemon is out of those three. Um, might look cute as a dress without cropping. Maybe, yeah. It's just I don't usually, I don't usually wear, like, shirts as dresses, unless it's, like, actually a shirt dress thing, but... Um, maybe if I get more weight off of me, it might look better, <laughs> but, okay. Anyways, you ready for this one? Yo! I had to, because it had, uh, Flareon and Rabidash, and I, I love those two, and I also love Arcanine too. Yeah! Arma, hello, welcome in! Love it. Get it, fire. <laughs> this is fire. This is fire. This is lit. Yeah. Wasn't Eevee your favorite starter? It's not a starter, though. Um, Your starter Pokemons are, like, the ones you get at the beginning. You only have, like, three options, and they're usually a fire type, uh, water type, or grass type. But, yeah. I I like Eevee. Eevee's my, one of, basically one of my top, but... Um, okay. I feel like I should leave this shirt for last. I'm going to leave it for last. Like, if I remember. Um, let's go Eevee. I think you... Oh, well, yeah. I, I think so, right? In yellow, at least? Wait, it's Gary's starter at count? Is it? In yellow? It was That was his starter? I don't remember that. I do have Let's Go Eevee, and I... I just don't remember you being able to start with Eevee. But maybe. It's been years since I played it. Okay. Here's this other shirt. So this is from a different shirt place. Pure gamer nutrition facts. Uh, you got level ups. <laughs> Over 9,000. <000. laughs> <laughs> Rage quits 100%, sodium aka salt 100%, sleep zero, protein need pizza. <laughs> yeah, I love it. This one I'm definitely gonna crop. I think. I like it so much. <laughs> Calories burn zero, that's me. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> I thought it was so funny when I saw it. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm a poser with this shirt because I can't remember, I can't exactly place what, where this is from. Um, I think I know where it's from, 
but I also like it because it's kind of like a beer shirt, but it's, and, but even though it's not a beer that I drink. So this shirt, it makes me a poser. I'm sorry, but I don't care. I think it was cool. <laughs> so, ready? My fist, your face, Heidelkin. Special move. I thought it was cute. But yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, I was thinking it had to be like Street Fighter or something. You know, one of those Street Fighter, Dead or Alive, uh, you know, all that stuff. I thought, Le Heineken. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I don't drink Heinekens. Um, I have. I just, they're not my go to. It's Ryu's Street Fighter, his Heineken. Okay. Um, and then, I got too many shirts. I really, like, I just want a new wardrobe. <laughs> so, other than this last shirt that I'm saving for last, this is the last one. Almost last one. Okay, you ready for this one? Here's another confirming my fire type starter. Charpotle. <laughs> it's so great. They also had one um, that was like Starbucks looking with Psyduck on it, but I'm like, I don't really like Psyduck like that. So, <laughs> it's a classic, yeah. I like I like Charmander and Chipotle. I don't really eat Chipotle that much, but I've enjoyed Chipotle. Um, okay, and then you guys know I like, wait, well, let me show you guys this last shirt. So this is the last t-shirt. And I felt like it was very fitting, though it is in the realm of what we've been playing, but it's not a game I've played yet. I have been working on my fitness, and I've also been trying to get good in Elden Ring. Get good, Jim. If you ain't dying, you ain't trying. <laughs> I thought this was such a perfect shirt. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I have to get it. And I'm really sad because I've been getting all the shirts in extra large because I like baggy. But when I came up there, they're like, oh, we don't have any more extra large. It's just large or 2XL. So I had to go with a large because I felt the 2XL was going to be way too big. Um, and I was like, dang it, I should have came earlier. <laughs> but I waited until like later. Okay. And then the last in this bag. So you guys know I like Eevee and the Evolutions, or at least some of you do. I don't know if all of you do, but they had these really cute pins and I didn't want to get all of them because I don't like all of the Evolutions. I mean, they're all cute, but I like some more than others. <laughs> so I only got my favorite Evolutions on these pins, but of course, had to get the classic if it will focus. Ah! I don't know if you guys can see that very well. This little Eevee. I like how its little tail like wiggles and stuff. Oh. I have like a webcam. It's not a real camera. So. Rubio! Thank you so much for the follow! Cute! And so I got my favorite evolution from each of the like you know, like, there's Eevee, right? And then the next evolutions are Flareon, Jolteon, Vaporeon. So out of those three, my favorite was Flareon. So I got the Flareon one. Bleh. There you go, you can kind of see that better, I guess. And then, Katie, hello, how are you? And then after, after those was Espeon and Umbreon, right? And between the two, so keep your yeah. Between the two, I like Umbreon better than Espeon, so I got the Umbreon one. And then, uh, I I kind of got lost at the evolutions after that, but I so then there's um, gosh. I have to like look at them. I think there's Umbreon, Espeon, and then there's Leafeon and Sylveon and Glaceon. But I feel like 
those three didn't come together. I think it was like two and then one. I don't really remember. But out of the last three, Leafeon is my favorite. So I got a little Leafeon. And I think out of all of them, besides Eevee, Leafeon I think is kind of like my favorite lately because I like plants. So it's cute. And I like how its mouth is like open. All the other ones, their mouths aren't open, but this one's mouth is open. <laughs> You're so tired, how are you? I'm doing great, oh my god, the pins, yes, yes. So I got those pins, and then of course, you know, I got the the Zelda pin from Salty. Um, and I was so nice of the, the person I got the pins from. All I got were those pins, but they gave me this tote bag. Um, because they saw how much crap I bought and all my plastic bags were like falling apart. So they put, the, they were like, here, you should probably take this tote bag. <laughs> Okay, and then I'll show you guys the posters I got and then we'll get to like the good stuff. Okay, if I can get these out. So I told you guys I got t-shirts mostly because I want to like kind of freshen up my wardrobe a little bit. And then my wall art here, like these, I want to replace these because these are like little emo scene kid moments from my like middle school years. <laughs> and then, though that person, that one I drew there, you can't really see it from there. I think they're from World of Warcraft. I was trying to draw them. And then here, you can't really see it because of chat. Let me see if I can. So there's, uh, I drew Sora from Kingdom Hearts, and then that's Android 18 from Dragon Ball Z, and then that's some kind of creature from, I think it was like the, some kind of manga, uh, manga, sorry, I'm, I'm really bad, I used to pronounce it incorrectly for the longest time. I see that mini split, mini split, what do you mean? What mini split? Uh, also, welcome in LTF. How are you doing today? Um, what am I trying to point here? Point. Tich was it Tichiba? Tichiba Chronicles, I think. I don't know. But yeah, these I did. And then there's Inuyasha. But I feel like my... Brego, hello! You love all the art key? Thank you. That head on your way... Wait. That head on your way, your AC. Oh, this thingy. Yeah, I hate it. I don't like those. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I mean, they work. I just don't like how I'd rather just have regular AC. <laughs> I don't want to see that on the wall, but it's fine. I live with it. Um, I'm renting, so it's not my choice. Um, anyways. But yeah, so if you look at my wall, but you can't really see what's up here and like all on this wall over here, but it's like more of my art that I've done. Uh, yeah, it does have a remote. Um, but yeah, so I just, I want my art to be more consistent, I guess a little bit, or like more gamey related, gamer related. I do have HVAC, I install that shit. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Again, I am renting, so my that's what my landlord chose. Um, okay. I had just regular, like, AC before. Okay, you ready for this poster? More Zelda! So we got this one that I'm gonna put on the wall. I probably need to actually put them in like real frames instead of whatever these like weird little hanging things that I have right here. But I'm cheap right now. Inuyasha was crazy. Yeah, I, lo I loved Inuyasha. That's what I like grew up on. Love the item art. Yeah, right, it's great. Okay, do I have Star Wars fans in here? I, I got this from the same place. Mandalorian. The Bounty Hunters. Yeah. I love this. I saw this and I was like, oh, it looks so good. But yeah. 
Nice art job. Yeah, they did. So I love the, it's so like just simplistic um, and modern. Um, I remember seeing that back in the day. What? Oh, Inyasha? Yeah. I think I, I re-watched it recently because I couldn't remember how the, how it ended. And then when I rewatched it, it still didn't end. And I was like, wait a minute, did this never end? And then I had to Google it and found out that it, it technically did end, but like way, way later. <laughs> and I can't seem to find those episodes. So I, I don't know how to watch the end of this, the show. Um, wasn't any Asha gory as fuck? Um, yeah, I mean, there was definitely gory, gory times. I heard Stefan is coming there. I mean, if he, no, he, like, he can if he wants to come visit. But he said he had family stuff for, for 4th of July. Um, okay. Ugh, I have more art stuff. More art stuff. You got a glimpse of it just then. So there, I don't know. Oh, I forget what it's called. Katie, are you still in here? Does your room have a lock on it? Ah! Yes, it does have a lock on it. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, what's that thing? Ink blocking, is it? So do you draw that stuff? Yeah, I drew all of, um, well, so. I drew that one, that one, that one, that one. Oh, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. I painted this thing that's behind here and I painted that one and then I painted some other stuff and then I painted I'm in the process of painting this one. I painted that. Yeah. Even though we're in an ad break, so unless you're on turbo, you probably didn't hear anything I just said. Good stuff and can't get it. Ooh, they used, is it lino prints or lino prints? Wood cutting prints? Also, I'm in an ad, so don't hear anything. No! Boopy. water break hold on while well, they're an ad for like 15 more seconds um two one ad should be done uh did you get a lot of vendor cards or info for their socials i did for everyone that i bought stuff for I think they threw in their card. Um, I did get a couple cards, but not a ton. Um, there was this Needless Things. I don't remember. I think that was this, um, the one that did this painting, I think was this, these people. And it looks like it's just Needless Things. Um, on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube. I could be so wrong, but this kind of came out of the same bag. Um, Needless Things is the- oh, it's the woodcut. Oh my gosh, thank you. No, yeah, so it's this one. Sorry, Needless Things is this one. Did you get a card from everyone you bought stuff from? I don't think so, actually, now that I'm looking. I feel kind of bad. Like, I always ask for business cards, and then I, like, throw them away later, because I'm like, I forgot where I even got them from, or, like, who does what. And then I'm like, I'm... I'd rather just, like, get it right then and there, whatever the thing it was. Thing, you know, that I got it from. Um... <clears throat> yeah, okay. So this this next thing I'm gonna show you is what Katie was talking about the lino prints or wood cutting prints. Oof. So this one lady she takes like she doesn't make the paper but she does get 
paper from people that like actually make the paper and then she makes these prints uh, of cats in like rolls of different like D&D classes and stuff like that. I tell myself that I'm going to look them up later. No, yeah, same. So that's why I'm like, do I even try to like get cards? <laughs> I thought the uh, out of all the cat prints and stuff, out of all these prints, I loved the barbarian one. So I got the barbarian. I love the scythe like sword. It's so cool. Or is it a, no, yeah, it's a scythe, right? Cause a sickle is like a hand, like one hand, like sh smaller one. But yeah, it looks so cool. And then and she was a really cool lady. Katie got a shirt from, from her. Ah. Okay. And then, yeah, pug, okay. So in here, out of these, there I have a lot more wall art here, but um, one of these is also a giveaway. But I got, oops, this one. It's Elden Ring, but it's like cutesy-ish kind of Elden Ring. I love it. You got Torrent, the Touch Grace, <laughs> or Touch Grass. I'm birdie. Wait, birdie. Oh, bird. Oh, in the chat. Sorry. Yeah, let's go. Do you like it? I love this one. It's definitely my vibe. Like, it's not super cutesy, but it's like cartoony. I just, it looks so good. I like it a lot. Yeah, the tree sun. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's like the first thing you see when you walk in. Okay, so there's that one. And then I got more Zelda. Little boop. Visit Hyrule, a journey awaits. So you got Link and Epona. Uh, have you beat the Tree Sentinel yet? No, <laughs> I have not. <laughs> I think I went back and tried recently and I was like, nope. <laughs> That's not happening. Um, and then I think I, let me do. I might have to like no, we'll do we'll do this one. Okay. More Star Wars. So I got visit Endor. Yeah. I liked this one. And then I think I got some other Star Wars ones too. I really, really, really like this one. Because I like the color scheme of this one. Tatooine. Visit Tatooine. New Republic Travel uh, Bureau. <gasps> Vey, hello! Back already, Kimmy. Yeah! It was a sh short, short trip. Yeah, this one I was looks really nice. Especially because it would also look really nice next to this one, I think. Just because of the color schemes. Um... But yeah, so I got this one. And then... Um, oh yeah, okay, okay, okay. We got another Elden Ring one. Visit the lands between... Uh, oh nice, did you get a loot bag? I got lots of stuff. We've been going through it. <laughs> but they didn't they didn't really give us anything for free, I don't think. I just bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, so I brought a new person to the Discord. I met her in Elden Ring as a random co-op someone. Oh nice, I feel she will fit in with our awesome group of family. Yay, that sounds great, thank you. She just joined the Discord a bit ago. Well, well, hopefully she feels welcome. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm like not on the Discord right now. Uh, you picked such great art. You think so? I mean, it's all stuff that I like. I mean, some of it, like the, the Star Wars. I'm a, I'm a Star Wars fan. I wouldn't say that I'm like diehard Star Wars because there's some Star Wars I don't really, I'm not interested in watching. Um, I'm like not super, super 
easily remember the lore and whatnot of it, but I like Star Wars, you know? And then I like, um, I like uh, Lord of the Rings also, but again, same story. Like I like watching the movies and stuff, but I'm not like super huge on the lore and whatnot stuff. But I mean, that's me with everything, so. <laughs> It's like I like stuff and I'm just like, yeah, it's cool. I like it <laughs> But yeah, so I got to visit the Shire Okay, and then So I have two of these they're the same thing So I showed you we have the Pokemon starter poster that is will be up for grabs for giveaway um let me give a reminder of what that looks like because I know some of you have just come in and weren't here earlier. If I can get this off. Uh, yeah, so we have this poster for giveaway at some point that I'll have to figure out um, what, what it'll be for. Is a fan art of Blastoise. Is it Ivysaur or Venusaur? And then Charizard. See, that's why I never pick Bulbasaur's because I can never remember which of his evolutions have which name. <laughs> He's bad. That is Venusaur, I think. Yeah, see, you even said I think. <laughs> we can't remember. If Toad and Stone's wife was in my chat, she'd be so mad. This Bulbasaur's like her favorite. And I can't remember. Okay. It's Venusaur, okay. Yeah, so we have that for a giveaway at some point soon. And then, you know the Discord? The name of the Discord is Kimmy's Lost Woods, right? So I have this, Visit the Lost Woods. We'll do this as a giveaway. I have two of them, so I'll have one. And then some lucky winner will have this one. That's awesome, heck yeah, yeah. Yeah, visit the Lost Woods. So you got like little, uh, you got the Master Sword and you got like little Link over here. The little Deku thing over here. Deku travel department. And then Navi's right here. Yeah, so I got that. But yeah, so I got, you know, two of them oh, for me. I bet Bentley misses his but Oh my gosh, he's been like so depressed all day. Either that or he's just tired. So I'm just like, what the heck, dude? He's just been doing nothing. Like, he hasn't wanted to play. When I got up this morning, like, he didn't even get out of bed when I got out of bed. He just laid in bed until I put food in his bowl, and then he got up. And I was like, what is wrong with you? Okay. Before I show you guys the big stuff that's in the boxes, show you some other stuff but yeah he he played with bubbles men's dog they were just they were like running and running and running and running and running and it was insane oh so this was the the lanyard i got with the too many games pass and it was just a one day so it's saturday and then uh i was with katie when she bought some stuff and the guy just like gave her a bunch of free lanyards so i got another lanyard <laughs> just for free <laughs> colleen hello bubbles is a crazy dog she was just so hyper which made bentley like so hyper oh and then my my tripod we i i brought the tripod because i was like oh we could probably take like videos and stuff and then we never used it <laughs> um okay so here is more giveaway stuff. Uh, I bet Billy needs a poster sized picture of bubbles. Oh yeah. He's literally just laying there. Okay. Can't stay for too long. Just wanted to pop in. Hey. I'm happy you got to stop in. I'm just going, I went to a gaming convention uh, on Saturday. And so I'm like showing all this stuff I got. But this stuff, so we have the Pokemon, the original Pokemon starter poster. We have the Lost Visit the Lost Woods poster. And we also have this little Bokoblin plushie. Okay, I did buy a plushie, but this is for you guys. 
We got the plushie. And a switch from Breath of the Wild. A switch case. Oh my god, that's adorable. Yeah. Mangles! Hello! Welcome in! Welcome in! Message deleted? Why did it automatically deleted a message? Hello! Why is it deleting a message? Hi! I don't know why it's deleting your raid message. I don't know which bot. Unless that's like what you copied? Is that a joke? <laughs> I don't know. Hello! One, two, three, one, two, three. Marta, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in, everybody. Bjorn, hello. Mangles, how is your stream? The person who died, the Ronnie, the witch cosplays. Yeah, she did. She did do amazing. Uh, or who did. I don't know why I said died. Rain, hello, hello. No, it's a raid message. It's a joke. The message. Oh, it's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, huh? Our raid message was the message was deleted prompt. Okay. I was like, I'm so confused. I thought it was like my Siri bot or something deleting. I was like, oh no. Hope everyone having a great night. Yes. We're going through all the stuff I got from the Too Many Games convention. And I've got giveaways. They're not for this stream, but I did get stuff for giveaways for later streams and later stuff. Um, I was just showing everybody stuff I got. Burton gave the idea. I was, I was like, huh? What? What's happening? Um, but yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. Mangles, how is, how is uh, Ray's starting stream going? That's a sweet, sweet switch case. Yeah, it is, right? So it's like, you know, the uh, Breath of the Wild Zelda. It's like, it's like pretty, like it's got, uh, what do you call it? It's raised. Really good case here. And then you got this um, zipper with the little eye on this side too. And it opens up. It looks like you can even like strap your switch in here, which my case, my own case that I have for my switch doesn't even have that. And then all these, man, it's got more storage than my case. Cause I think mine just goes across one way. So you got like all this cartridge storage and then this storage so this is a giveaway for you guys uh caught a glimpse of what you painted oh thanks it's really coming along i'm nearly done with the scene that's awesome i'm glad want to open my map and pin a location accidentally for what oh yeah for the <laughs> yeah i got okay i gotta gotta go <laughs> give me about to keep it no 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 i'm gonna give it away I'm gonna give it away. My case is like my case for my switch. I'll show you guys. I think it might have like come with my switch or whatever. This is my switch case for my switch. It literally is like just this. <laughs> like, and I only got like three games. I think you can only put two more games in there. Uh, you play s more. You play more Switch games than just Mario Kart. Um, yeah, I have what I have Super Smash Brothers, but I don't really play it. I have the new Pokemon Snap in here, Zelda Breath of the Wild, Skyward Sword. I mean, I'm playing all the Zelda games, so whatever I can play on Switch. Yeah. Um, Mingles, thanks for putting the Discord. Did you reach a follow goal? Oh, I'm. Yeah, I did. I guess. Bjorn, thank you so much for the follow. I didn't even notice. I it, it automatically updates, I think, because I didn't set it to 570. I think I hit 560 and then like a day later it was like, oh, your, your follower goal has been updated. And I was like, well, I didn't do anything. Switch getting a little long in the tooth? What do you mean? Switch getting a little long? Um, I do play more Switch games. I just, I play more Steam and other computer games than I play Switch. I'm more of a Steam girly than a Switch girly, but I definitely use the Switch for the, all the Zelda stuff. Um, and then I have some other, some other random Switch games, but they're like downloaded. Like I don't have a physical copy of them. And then, what was that? Okay, yeah. So I got you guys a switch case and a little book goblin stuffy plushie. Um, 
Sorry, that was supposed to be a joke. I really only play Mario Kart. Oh, you, you only, only, only. I did get Mario Kart 8. I think I played it once on a community game stream and I haven't played it since. But it's like a game you should play with other people, not by yourself, so. Steam summer sale is going on right now. Yeah, oof, my wallet too. I literally, I went on my wish list and pretty much got everything that was under $5. <laughs> And then a couple games that were like 70 or more percent off. <laughs> so. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. Okay. You guys ready for the like really crazy. You want me to lit. I'm going to be embarrassed at how much money I spent. Because I spent more than I should have. Like I probably should be returning things so that I can actually like survive. Life. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, you guys want to see what I got? Um, we played some Zelda Hurdle at the end of my stream. I was like, what is Zelda Hurdle? Hurdle? Oh, wait. Can I bring up? Okay, here's the Steam. I wonder if I can look up, like, what I just purchased. Yep. To guess the names of Zelda so oh that's cool. What the heck? I like that. Mm. Inventory? Is that what you no? Can I go to like where I've um like what I've recently bought? Oh, purchase history. Maybe show games after finishing. Co yeah, you're probably that's a smart thing to do so I can keep things separate, right? Okay. Um, are you guys anime fans? <laughs> or any of you anime fans? I'm gonna be honest again, I am another poser. <laughs> um, so I saw some things that I wanted from some animes that I do enjoy, but when I was thinking about it, I was like, I can have my cutesy girl moments, but I'm not, I don't really consider myself like a cutesy girl. And the things that I was, the characters I really, really like are very cutesy. And I just, I wanted, their particular item but at the same time i was like it, i don't feel like it would go with like what i want to put in my room here it just it just wouldn't look right i don't think um so i didn't go with it but i went with stuff that i felt like i liked just because of what it looked like but this is where i'm a poser is i don't know what animes they're from <laughs> i just thought they looked cool <laughs> The balance between being an adult and being cutesy, right? Well, I mean, this doesn't look like- I mean, this couch and maybe like that plant and stuff there is adult, but I feel like having anime and other things on the wall is not adult. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. In this day and age, I feel like with our generation and the people that are, are not like already retired or getting to be retired age, like I feel like this age, doing whatever the heck you want is adult. <laughs> so <laughs> I told you the one. Yeah, yeah. So I know the one. I'm wondering if I, but I haven't watched, I've watched like an episode or two years and years and years ago, but I haven't watched any recently. So that's why I feel like I'm a poser because I don't really know it that well. And then the other one I have, I have absolutely no idea what anime it's from. So I'm, if you guys are anime fanatics, I would hope that you guys um, maybe would be able to help me figure out, pinpoint what it is. But yeah, I mean, I, again, I feel like this day and age, our generation embracing yourself is the adult. So I have a sword. <laughs> I want to start a sword collection or a weapons collection. Yeah. Um, so 
Yeah. This, I have found out this is a sword from Bleach. Ichigo's sword. Um, I just thought it looked really cool. I'm putting it in the wrong way. It's made of carbon steel, not steel. Um, but yeah. I thought, uh, not sharp, but still dangerous. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I got a sword. <laughs> Ooh. So I know where this one is from. I know what anime that one's from because I found out after. Thank you, Birdie. We can fix that part. Wait, fix what part? The part of knowing or the part of watching the show? Um, or the or the sharp part. <laughs> no, like the sharp part. Okay, okay. So hopefully some of you guys are anime fans. And you can maybe tell me where this one is from. Because I have no idea. But it's cool. It's got a little blue leather strap. It's from China. <laughs> and then it's got like these gold. Um, gold pieces. Anime. Huh? Blah. And the blade. Woo. Look how cool that is. I love it. Okay. Uh, my first thought was Waro ich Ichimonji. Is that how you say that? But the gold and the black sh uh, sheath tell me it's not. That's so dope, right? Now these, this last thing I got, and it was actually the last thing I got when I was at the, uh, the convention. I think you guys probably all know this one. Um, <laughs> so how many of you are... Um, X-Men fans? Anybody? Anybody? Are there any X-Men? X-Men Pog? X-Men fans in the chat over here? Um... They cool? <laughs> You're like, yeah, they, they cool. Uh, you guys ready for, for what this looks like? Can you guess what it is before I even show you? <gasps> Thanks for the lurk, Captain Mangles. <sighs> I almost dropped him. It's claws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the claws. They're not sharp whatsoever. They're really, really, like, there's, you can literally just, like, but yeah. So I got Wolverine's claws. Attack us with them. I feel like a cat, like. But yeah, Wolverine's claws. I need to figure out how the heck I'm gonna like, well first like where I'm gonna put the swords cause I wanna put them on the wall and then I wanna put these on the wall too. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this room and how I have it laid out and stuff. Like, I don't know if you can see this. I'm trying not to like, I got the white there too. But I've got those paintings I did. Um, and some other art that's just kind of random. You can get a katana holder. I also, like, I, I could, but at, at the same time, my landlord, um, only, like, allows, um, certain things to go into the walls. So, I can, but I cannot. Um, 
but yeah so there's the there's my haul my whole entire crazy shopping spree <laughs> it's too so mu too much stuff i don't know what was going through my head <laughs> i feel like i was like having a moment and i was like you know what <laughs> We're just gonna let the let the dark thoughts win. <laughs> uh, but yeah, letting the dark thoughts of buying everything that I shouldn't buy win. Win con haul. Thank you, Homer. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's a free it's free standing, so you don't have to mount it to the what? Really? Then I need. Oh, you know what? So after buying these katanas, it made me want to like have a little sword collection or weapons collection, not necessarily sword collection. Cause I mean, I do have a lot of like random knives and stuff too. Like if you were here when I did the, um, the Renaissance elf costume play thing for one of my productivity streams, I had like a machete. <laughs> um, uh, so there's that. And then, you guys, some of you probably saw the um, the tiny little switchblade I got from my friends that was kind of like, a, what do you call it? Like multicolored. Um, and then I also, I think at one point busted out my, um, my compound bow that I have. And then I do also have like this uh, Damas is it Damascus steel little knife thing with the really cool like gray and blue handle. This is not from Khan. These are just the things I have. <laughs> um. Will you learn any cool sword? I would like to. If I can get like a bamboo or like wooden sword to practice with, I'd be so down. We could do a stream of like, let me learn some. I So there's another streamer that I've watched. Um, she did like, uh, throwing a knife at a target to like get a bullseye. And I was like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. That sounds like so much fun. And so I also thought like, ooh, um, cause I haven't used a bow and arrow in such a long time, but I had a phase where I was like really into bow and arrows and I would love to do a, like, you know, doing, taking shots with a bow and arrow till I hit a bullseye or something like that. I would love to do streams like that. <laughs> I have a lasso, so I thought maybe I could even do like, you know, stream ends once I lasso something. <laughs> That would be awesome, right? I thought so too. Um, I feel like I have a, I, I used to have a throwing knife. It's not, it was very dull though. Um, I've had it for a really long time. But I don't know if I still have it. I don't know where it would be if I still have it. So I don't think I have it anymore. But I had one throwing knife at, for a long time at one point. But anyways. So that was that's pretty much the haul. Let me um, ooh, bring it down a little bit more. Let me roll myself. So yeah. Yeah, I think I think that would be awesome too. One of these days I'll get this mic stand uh, <laughs> working properly. But you wanted to see, you want to know what games I got from the summer sale? I don't, like, I don't want to share it because of how much money I spent. Ugh. I've spent way more money this weekend than I should have. I did work overtime the week prior, so there was that. But still, I worked overtime the week prior. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. 
I, so I've made my Steam wish list a long, long time ago, right? Or like I've been adding to it, but there hasn't been very many times that I've um, went through the Steam list, wish list to see if there's stuff that I don't really want anymore, <laughs> which I should have done that before buying <laughs> stuff. I guess I could return it too, though. Big boy, no, too much. Hello, how are you? You just came in right at the end of me, like showing off all the stuff I got from a convention. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now we can go over the games that I got. So I just, uh, how's it going? It's going good. Uh, Homer was simping, wanted to know what games I got from the summer sale uh, on Steam. And so, like, basically what I did was an ER boss for a second. Oh, no, you're all good. Um, so, basically what I did is I... There was a couple of games I wanted, so I added it to there just because I, I... I've had interest... I, I wouldn't say I'm die hard interested in playing them, but I have heard that they're good games, and I was like, maybe I should... Te like try them out and stuff and see what it's all about um and then um i just went th i got those games so those were a little bit they weren't they were still cheap because they were on sale but um what i did is i went to my steam wish list filtered it to price lowest price at the top higher price at the bottom and anything that was under five dollars i went ahead and just threw it on <laughs> in the cart and then if there was something that was like 70% off or more I went ahead and threw it in the cart because I was like when the heck is it going to be 70% off again um and then there was one or two things that were like 60% off but I was like ooh, I kind of really want to play this one so I'll throw it in there um but anything that was like 50% off or less I was like it'll probably be 50% off or less uh in the future too so it'll be fine um what have you been up to the for the past few days uh so i was at uh too many games convention in pennsylvania <clears throat> and i got like a crap ton of stuff <laughs> so i was showing that off on stream um and then this morning too i went paddle boarding so that was fun just because i wanted to and i love paddle boarding it's like it's really relaxing and i like being outside so i'm getting a little bit of color <laughs> But yeah, good sale strategy. That's what I thought. Like, that's what I did for a winter sale like a year or two ago too. I was like, anything that's $5 or less, just get it. <laughs> like, though it, they add up because I had a lot of stuff that was $5 or less. And I was like, ooh, it adds up really quick. Uh, what did you do there? Bought stuff. Bought a lot of stuff. Um, I'll probably post this stream to YouTube so you can see all the stuff I bought because I went through everything already. Um, it's, it's crazy. I, I bought way, 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 way too much stuff. Um, and then I bought more video games that we're going to go through real fast. So I bought, I think, I don't know if it's in, yeah, it's not in alphabetical order. So I don't know if it just went into like where I put them on the, in the cart. Be ready for this list, Homer. And anybody else who's listening and want to, wants to know what games I got. You guys probably don't even know what games I currently have. I mean, I did scroll through all the games, like, in one of my last streams. Um, when we were doing, uh, viewers choice, or chat's choice or whatever. Um, but I got Fable Anniversary. Um, because I saw Rayrar play Fable, or she was gonna play Fable, and the new Fable that's coming out that was on the Xbox, was it the Xbox announcements or whatever? The new Fable looked pretty cool. So, and I have not played any of the Fable games. I found out there's more than one. I thought there was just one. But, so I got Fable Anniversary, which is supposed to be the, like, remake of the first one, right? So I got that. I got Bakura which is like a two-player game. I've seen Grubmeyer play that one and it looked cute, so I got, I put that on my wish list, but I went ahead and got it today. Um, some of these you probably may have never heard of, and some of them you probably have. Um, I played Fable 3 back in the way back. I, I want to play the first one, and then if I like it, I'll probably get the next one. 
haven't heard of that one. What, Bakura? It looked cute. It's kind of like a, it looked almost like pixely. Fable 2 is pretty good. Hopefully I'll like Fable 1 enough to want to like keep playing. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, then there's The Past Within. I got that one. Um, Unboxing the Cryptic Killer. You'll probably notice a lot of like puzzle games because I like puzzle stuff like or like escape game type things. Uh, I got The Wild Eight, Inside the Back Rooms. One of my coworkers told me to get Class of 09, so that was under $5, so I got Class of 09. Check out Escape Academy. I might already own that one, actually. I'll go back and look, though. I love puzzle games. I, I have The Room, if you've heard of The Room. I did stream The Room a long time ago, and that's on my YouTube, but I have Room 2, Room 3, and 4 that I need to play or and get up on YouTube. Uh, I got Pico Park. Um, a short hike. I don't really remember why I had this on my wish list, but I got Boomin. I think it I think I was looking for like scary games or something and I was trying to like add some scary stuff to my list. Uh, I got The Bunny Graveyard. I think that was a game that was recommended to me by someone at one point. Uh, I got Project Winter. Uh, I don't know if you're supposed to say it as an acronym, ABZU or Ab Abzu, ABZU. It's like some underwater swimming game type thing. I got Five Nights at Freddy's. That's one I feel like people know. Uh, I got Crime O'Clock, which I think is another kind of like puzzle game. Um, the Pedestrian, which again is another puzzle game. ABZU is so beautiful. Ooh, makes FNAF, good stream game. Yeah, we'll do we'll do a stream with Five Nights at Freddy. I got Bendy and the Dark Revival. Pedestrian looked good, so I'm excited to play that one. Uh, I got House Flipper. <laughs> Part of me is like, why did I get that one? I feel like I, I'll, I'll play it for a little bit and then I'll be like bored of it. Like with Supermarket Simulator. I liked Supermarket Simulator. I was addicted for like a day or two and then I was like, man, it's fun. But uh, I got Scorn. Uh, I did get Bramble the Mountain King, even though I literally watched so many people play that. <laughs> I liked the thing for Bramble, but I was like, well, let's just play it myself too, I guess. I get locked into power wash them sometimes. I mean, yeah, if it's like a soothing game, you're just gonna keep playing it or what, like every once in a while. Um, I did get Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. I know Leo Kai got that one uh, not too long ago and was telling me about it. Um, I got Kenna, Bridge of Spirits, um, which I think I just randomly found that one on Steam and it looked really good if I'm thinking that's the right game. Um, I did, because of the new, because the new game is come. there's a new game coming out for this franchise, and I saw the trailer and it did actually look really cool. I am aware of the franchise, but I never really seemed that interested in playing it because I think I was watching like bits and pieces of the very first one and I was like, meh. But because the new game coming out looked really good, I went ahead and bought the pack uh, to play all of them. So I got the Doom franchise. Um, so I have Doom Eternal, Deluxe Edition, Doom, Doom 3, Doom 64, Doom 1993, and Doom 2. Um, and I said it in that order because that's just how it's listed here. Yeah, so I got the Doom pack. Um, I got Mountain Valley 2 because, or Monument Valley 2 because I played Monument Valley 1 and I liked that one. It's a cute little short puzzle game. I got scab scab scabma snowfall. I don't really remember what that is, but it was on my wish list. <laughs> uh, old Doom's still good, but harder to get into. Yeah, I feel like because the graphics and stuff, maybe. But we'll see. I'll I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I got Kingdom 80s because there was another Kingdom game, and I think Kingdom 80s is like the next game in the little franchise, but the Kingdom game looked really cool. It's like a 2D 
like a side scroller pixel kind of thing. I don't know. It looked cool though. And I, so I got that. And then I got Subnautica Below Zero. I have not played the Subnautica games. I have Subnautica. So now I have Subnautica Below Zero. Um, but I'm ex I've seen it played and I'm excited to play them. Yeah. Yeah, Kingdom games are good chill games. They looked, I really liked the graphics for the Kingdom. I mean, it's pixel, but it looked really, I liked like how they did the art style for those graphics. So yeah, that's my, my summer sale giant purchase. <laughs> Best survival crafter I've ever played was Subnautica. I mean, it looks really good. I think I've watched, um, gosh, what's his name? He's like a mm, Dutch streamer. I think he's Dutch. In some, in some. I've seen in some play Subnautica. It was pretty good. Um, Kimmy, I have similar games. Like you, yeah. You want to see the rest of my games, or have you seen all of my library? <laughs> um, probably seen all of them, but. Um, what's in alphabetical order? Escape Academy? Is that just what it's called? It's just Escape Academy? Mm, so I have Escape from School, Escape Memoirs, Mini Stories, Escape Room, The Sick Colleague. But I don't have Escape Academy. So immersive? Oh yeah, for the... um. Subnautica. Escape a cat. No, Escape Academy. Academy. Oh, should it is Escape Academy or the Deluxe Edition? Or get the bundle? I mean, I'm not gonna purchase it, but I'll put it in my wish list. Cause I already spent way too much money. Hmm. Uh, Mom, hello! How are you, mommy? Uh, Escape Academy is great. Can play co-op. And then I beat campaign, but didn't do- didn't play DLC. So just this one. We'll add to wish list. I think when you, um, here's my wish list. Things come off the wish list after you buy it, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So I have like these on my wish list. Some things I should probably get rid of. Like, I honestly don't think I'll ever play this. I think I put it on my wish list because I was going through a moment where I was like really into cozy games. And then once I started getting back into gaming, I realized that I like watching people play cozy games, but I don't really play them that much myself. <laughs> Hi, sweetie pie. I'm doing good. Thanks. I'm glad you're doing good. Um, so I don't know. I feel like this one I should probably remove because I really don't think that I'd actually play that. Um, some of these other ones I, I feel like I'd be into though. But yeah. These are this, the wish list. I put this on here because I actually really love this board game. Hollow Knight, let's go. Yeah, Hollow Knight's on there. I've seen a lot of people play Hollow Knight. Like, I haven't actually watched it, but I've seen like on my side there. Board games, yeah. Um, and then somebody recommended this. I can't remember who recommended this game, but somebody recommended it because it's like party animals, but I think it's like the OG version. Um, and I think someone recommended this because it was scary or something. But yeah, so we have these games. Um, little guy. <laughs> I do like like these games where it's like puzzle games. Um, I got tabletop simulator on my wish list. 
Mm, I don't, like, part of me wants to play this, but I also feel like I won't play it for very long. <laughs> Rain World is so hard, is it? It looks cool. But I'm not very good at platformers. <laughs> Valheim, yeah. I think I put this on my list because uh, I wanted to play a game that was on Groundhog Day that had like a groundhog theme, you know? And this game is supposed to have like kind of a groundhog theme to it where things just like restart over and over. Um, I don't, I think I literally just put a bunch of cute games on my list because I was like, oh, cozy games, we'll do cozy stuff. But like, I, I don't know how much I'll actually play them. This one looked really cute though, the spirit and the mouse. Bun house, I can't. Omari so it sounds crazy. Wait, what? This one? Oh, psychological horror, story rich. Yeah, I really, I'm interested to play this one. I feel like, actually, I feel like our Nintendo gaming played this one, and that put me on to this one, to that. I think I ended up, cause it had a really good story to it, I guess. I'm really upset that I've seen this. I really wish I would have not watched somebody play through this. <laughs> but I did. I watched Jack. I think I watched Jack Septicai's playthrough of this. Um, and now I, I like the idea of this game, but I haven't. Um, haven't played it myself, obviously, because it's on my wish list. D ignore some of the games that I have on <laughs> here. Um, I really want to play this. I feel like this would be a good game. <laughs> and this one, Planet of L Lana? Lena? Escape Sim. Wait, oh yeah, this one. I've seen a little bit of this one, but not enough to like ruin the game for me at all. So I, w I want to play that. Um, yeah, this is another one I feel like I'll play for a little bit and then be like, done with. I've played a little bit of this a long, long time ago. My brother has this game. Yeah. Cuphead is good. It's so hard. The little bit I have played of it years and years ago was hard. Um, I've heard a lot about this game. Um, I think this would be so fun to play on stream because of you can get cult. Everybody can join the cult. Judge is fun, but oh, it felt short. Outer Wilds is a must play. I've heard that. I have heard that. Uh, this is another one that I don't really, I think I put Zoo Planet on here because I really liked Zoo Tycoon when I was a kid, but I have a feeling I won't play it for very long either. Eastward, please remove. I tried to play, but there's so much text, really? And you can't like skip past it. Thanks for the lurk, mom. I just, it looked so cute, like, art-wise. That's really why I put it on there, was the art. Yeah, but you gotta let text play out. It's so terrible. I'll remember that. I wanted to like it, too. No. I don't, I, like, ugh. Um, I don't remember why I put this one on. Again, as in my cozy. I've had, I've heard good things about this game. Oh, and then somebody, I, somebody in another Discord that I you, used to hang out on all the time in voice chats uh, was showing me this game. It looks so cute. Um, this one. Have you guys seen Stray? I wish I didn't see the end of this game, but I did. But it looks so good. I want to see it. Catpog. Mmm, it look, yeah, it does look fun. Um, I'm just like slowly going through the, the wish list. I've seen, this one looks fun too. I've seen a few playthroughs of that. Orba Din win? Oh wait, which one? Oh, this one? I don't remember why I put this one. Like if I just found it or, and thought it looked cool. Or if it was a recommendation. 
The oxen free games are pretty good. I've played a little bit of the first one. I didn't finish it. Um, but I like those. This one I want to play. <laughs> Spy party. Um, yeah, I've seen, I've seen a little bit of rust. I don't know how much I would actually really like it, but we'll see. Spy party I've seen, but so hard to find players. I feel that because I've never really heard anything about it. I don't remember how I found it either. I think I was just trying to find more co-op games to play when it, before I started streaming, I was dating someone or we were trying to find th games to play together because we didn't really live very close to each other. Um, and so... I thought about that one, but I, we didn't want to pay $24 for it. Uh, such a toxic- Rust is a toxic game. And then I've heard Outlast Trials is scary, but I don't know. I've seen some people play it and I didn't think it was that scary. This one's new. It just came out recently and it's supposed to be scary also. Forza. Yeah, so I have Forza on here because like growing up I always played a lot of racing games with my brother. <laughs> And so I, I mean, I like racing games. I'm not super good at them, but. And then of course, Dark Souls is on here. Starfield is whack. I put it on here when it first came out and everybody was so hype about it, but then I did hear a lot of bad, like, or like mixed reviews. I would say mixed, but. Gran Turismo. I liked the need for speeds and stuff like those games. <laughs> No, Ray! Ah, you finished! I was gonna come rage you, cause I was I was gonna end in like six minutes, <laughs> or when we were done going through my let too late. Ray, raid! Welcome in! Blast off with Raywar, the cozy baking and gaming streamer whose kitchen is hot as their takes, celebrating 300 followers with pineapple steak, fried rice, and dog treats. They've been on a roll with soft pretzels, strawberry pie, and even keto hot pockets. From hump day baking to rainy day coziness, tune in for the sweet treats and savory delights. Oh my goodness, pet Bentley. Where are you, Bentley? Come here. You want a treat? People want to see you. Hello, welcome in, welcome in, Raiders. Hello, Boosted, welcome back. Hello, Moon Diggler. Is that his Diggler? Um. Dana's Kitchen, hello! Drink more, cook less, hello, hello, welcome in. Dana's Kitchen, thank you so much for the follow! Okay, I have to go switch to, to this real fast so you can see him. I have a bunch of stuff everywhere because earlier, before showing my Steam wish list, I was showing everybody I, what I got from a convention this, yesterday. This is Bentley. You probably saw Ray making treats for Bentley. Is he a good Tweedo? Yeah. He's a little baby. Yeah, he's a little baby. B is for Bentley, yes. Bentley, I love you. Yeah. How you doing, baby? I can't tell if he's sad or if he's just really tired. I took him on the trip with me, and, um, Min, Nintendo Gaming, I went and visited her, and so Bentley got to meet her dog, and they were just running around all day yesterday. So I don't know if he's just, like, tired from all the running around yesterday, or if he's sad because he doesn't have a friend to play with anymore. Or if he's just not feeling well, but he's just been so lazy all day. Your poor little baby. Um, Moon eats treats the same way, <laughs> like uh, putting your mouth up and <laughs> show Ray something from Con. Oh yeah, I didn't show. Yeah, because Ray's been streaming this whole time. Oh my gosh, Ray. Well, she's probably knowing Ray. We have this understanding that. You know, we can immediately go into lurk mode. She's probably cleaning up her kitchen and stuff. Um, but she's so, actually, everybody, she's, oh, you're here. <laughs> I was like, you're, she's probably cleaning up. Um, Ray, what do you want to see? Will you like Star Wars, Ray? I'm cleaning, but also listening. Um, Ray, look at what I got. One of the things that I got. Boop, boop. 
We'll give her a chance. I don't know how much she's looking. Wow, yeah. That's so dope, right? It's Boba Fett. I'm kidding. <laughs> the, the, um... From the Mandalorian. I can't, I can't. I've seen the whole show, but I can't remember. Because they always just call him the Mandalorian. Like, oh, Mandalorian. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways. Um. But yeah. This is Bentley. He's a little, uh. He just does this all the time. He's not a dog. He's just a, what do you call it? A, a noodle. He's a noodle. The dog is melt. Yeah, he, he melts. That is, that is what he does. He just, he just melts. Anyways. <laughs> uh, I was showing, so I showed all the stuff from the convention earlier in the stream that I got. Um, but all the people from Ray's uh, raid, my I go by Kimmy or Kimmy Karma on Twitch. Um, I have been playing a lot of Zelda. If you like Zelda, though, we are currently currently trying to play a multiplayer Zelda because we're doing all the Zeldas in timeline order. And so Zelda's kind of like calmed down because I don't have, we have to try to coordinate schedules with three other people. So it's kind of on a halt a little bit right now. Um, but otherwise I've been playing Elden Ring. I do do cooking streams sometimes like Ray does, but not as frequently as she does. Um, or cooking baking streams. And then I also do art stuff too sometimes. Like I did this Twitch painting in the background. So um, I would consider myself a 100% variety but a little bit more focus on gaming than other things. But I do do a lot of random stuff. Which timeline? All of them. We are currently on the child timeline. Sorry for the ad, it just popped up. Hopefully, hopefully you're not in an ad, but you might be now. Um, but yeah, or just all of them. Yeah, so we're, so I actually, hold on. I'm following this um reddit post but we're doing the child timeline first once we get through that side uh i believe we're going to the adult one because on my about me area on the twitch there should be a poll going and i it's been a while since i checked but last time i checked the adult timeline's winning so that's like wind waker um phantom hourglass and then after that timeline we'll switch on over to the fallen hero timeline Bomb bomb, thank you so much for the, the follow. And then we'll move into, um, what is it? Age of Calamity or whatever brings them all together. And then we'll do Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I saw you got inside the back. I know, and I saw you've been playing it. I did get inside the back rooms. Um, but yeah, we're, we're like finishing up my wish list. I don't know why we're coming going through all this, but... Cause I was, I, oh, I showed Homer the, all the games I got, um, from the summer sale. I bought a lot of summer, I bought a lot of games from the summer sale, but these are my, my wish list games. Um, we're pretty much at the end, I think. I put Sloth Simulator on here cause somebody in the community is all big on Sloth. So I haven't seen him in a while though. Um, old Steam page? What do you mean old Steam page? Hello, I've been wanting to beat it. We got so close last night, then died it did No! So do you have to start over when you died it did Hello, Marcos. I know. I've been seeing him, um, I think on Instagram a little bit, but he hasn't been in the chat in a minute. Moly boy! Uh, one of the game titles was broken or something, but What do you mean? Old Steam page? Oh, is that what it said? old steam page was it up higher or did i miss it oh this one interesting maybe i'll take it off because i don't really know i think it was just because it was similar to like cyberpunk but yeah i found it i got it what do you want, baby? Oh, you bite my hand. You want me to pet you? Is that what you want? 
You're sliding off my lap. <laughs> Probably a cancel game. Yeah, I, I put a, a lot of games on there that I think ended up getting canceled or like, I don't know if they'll ever come out. Cause they have like no, they're all just coming soon or no, no announcement of when. He probably needs to go potty now. I fed him. I did let him out before stream, but he only went pee pee. He didn't go poo poo. Oh. Little baby, I love you. Okay. Um, uh, but yeah. What do you guys think? I got lots of new games. I got lots of stuff that I didn't need to get from uh, from the, <laughs> the too many games. <laughs> um, and then, what? Oh, all of you who are in here. So I did make a, if you're in the Discord, I'll drop the Discord link if you wanna join the Discord. Um, but if you're in the Discord, I did make a new channel. There's lots of channels. I'll eventually go through and maybe get rid of channels that I know we're not using at all. Um, but I feel like every channel has a purpose. <laughs> but I did make a new channel, um, called Twitch or YouTube Poll. Because I have on my Steam, um, hold on, how many games do I have? I have 191 games and I've been trying to play through all of them from beginning to end um, and it's just it's too much to try I was gonna stream all of them beginning to end but it, there's just there's not enough time especially because on stream like I stop and I chit chat because I love hanging out and chit chatting with you guys um, so my idea and that'll also help me like feel more like a gamer too because i like playing games my idea is that some of the games i'll stream and then some of them i'll just play off stream but i'll record it so that i can put them up on youtube so then i can be like look i played the game and i did finish it and it'll just be more of like a validation for myself that i actually can complete stuff which i have so far which has been awesome and streaming has been the, what's helped me with that but um i I'm gonna put you down because you keep biting my my fingers. Um, but yeah, so working through the backlog. Yep. So I made a new channel in the Discord called Twitch or YouTube Poll, and soon here I'm probably gonna start throwing a bunch of games in there. I went ahead and already downloaded all of the games that were to around no under three gigabytes or less because those should be hopefully quick enough games that I could play them in like a day, maybe. Um, so I'll put all those in there. Maybe not all of them at once, because it's a lot. And, but I'll put it like maybe, you know, maybe once a day or like once every couple of days. Dixie, hello, welcome in, how are you? Um, but I'll put them in maybe like five a day or five every other day or something give you guys a chance to vote on the games on whether we stream it or i do it off stream and just play them record it and throw it up on youtube so if you want to i mean you'll still be able to see me play the game if that's uh something you're interested in but i know some games you probably actually like want to see the live live reactions of it and stuff rather than just on youtube but Hi, friend, you look so lovely. Thank you, thank you. I haven't worn this outfit in such a long time, so I was like, well, I'll throw it up and see. And so far, I got a win. Lots of people like this, so we're keeping it. A wild sunburnt Dixie. <gasps> no, she's sunburnt? No. That's not good. I'm sorry. I hope, do you have aloe vera? Put some aloe vera on. And hopefully, hopefully that'll help. Um, okay. I'm gonna go what so hold on lobster Dixie I'm gonna give because I there's a few people that I would love to raid and I can't pick because I'd feel really bad picking um I'm gonna give you guys options on the their category of stream and then you guys can um help me pick Um, do you want to see 
this game? Do you want to see? Mm. Um, dun, dun, dun. Or what is this? Oh, I think these are, yeah, these are the options that I have. We'll do like two minutes. Okay, there is a poll. Uh, just post a perfect day. Man, thank you so much for the sub. Hello, how are you? I just also realized Mix It Up Bot hasn't been on this whole entire time. Not me missing the entire stream. It's okay. It's okay. You're fine. All I did was show everybody what I got. And then we went through my Steam list because I got a summer sale. I got summer sale games. <laughs> so that's all it was. Just a haul. It was a haul of stuff I got from the con and a haul of stuff I- video games I got. So, you're all good. Uh, oh yeah, I look like part of a Cajun broil. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, looks like everybody's going for Elden Ring. We do have a poll going on right now of where we should raid to. It's probably about like a minute, a little over a minute left. We got Elden Ring, Apex, or Unravel are options on all great people that I would love to raid, but I feel I feel bad having to pick, so I'm gonna let you guys pick. <laughs> um, uh, me, me too, so sad. <gasps> no, Taco, I, I've got so much stuff. Min Pog, yeah. Yeah, Min was the one that I went to the con with. She invited me. I feel that I missed all the funs tonight too. Late, this is probably the first stream that is legit a just chatting stream. I don't think I've ever had, like I've had just chatting streams, but it's been me doing pottery or like me doing painting. This is literally just us hanging out, chatting, and like talking about stuff I got or like stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed <laughs> a random just chatting stream. I feel like I'd like to do more just chatting streams where we just hang out, but I don't... now that I'm starting to have more of a life, maybe I'll have more to talk about. But I feel like in the beginning, all I did was play video games, work, and sleep. So <laughs> it looks like we're going to Elden Ring. Yay! Well, I was lurking at Ray, so perfect she raided over here. Ah, oh, guys, hello, welcome, welcome. We're, sorry, we're about to leave though. Taco, I hope you're doing well. I love the little Bulbasaur rollout. Um, sorry, I wanted to give all the love. Oh, I enjoy the fuck out of what I made it for. Yay! Also, Justice Phil, I, I will. I promise, one day I will actually make a command for that. It is written down literally right here. I just haven't gotten to it. You too, hope you had a good weekend. I did, I had so much fun. I am, I mean, I'm thinking I will probably download this and upload it to YouTube. If any of you actually wanna go back and see all the stuff that I got, I got some cool stuff. We got swords, I got swords back here and stuff like that. Lots of t-shirts and wall art and all this stuff is really cool. Uh, it's all good, I don't need a command, I'll just type it, okay. Swords, yeah! I'm so excited to get them on the wall one of these days. Um, okay. You guys picked, we're going to Elden Ring. Hopefully she's still going for a while. Um, so I've met this person through, um, it's Memers, which some of you know, some of you may not know. Uh, she doesn't, she's more of, it's Memers is more of a lurker in my chat. Um, but I love, she's so fun. But anyways, that's not who we're rating. We're rating Twinkly Tor, which is, uh, it's Memers' best friend. Um, thank you so much for getting the right message out. If you are not subscribed, if you want to use the first raid men message that uh, Min got up there, if you are subscribed, you can use the second one. Some of you know Twinkly, Leo Kai knows Twinkly. Uh, I am actually very, like, I'm kind of happy to go raid her because she's more of a, like, I've always seen her play Zelda. I've never seen her play Elden Ring. Um, there's another streamer that I would have loved to raid to, to actually. Um, and one of them recently got Elden Ring, so whenever they start playing on stream, we're definitely going over there. Uh, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoy Twinkly. She's super sweet, super nice, um, just a wonderful human being. 
Again, she is a Zelda player, so if you're here for me because of Zelda, probably want to go check her out when she plays Zelda as, as well. I'm glad you enjoyed your stay home or simping. I'm glad that you are here to hang out. But I got to be on the lake with my kids for an hour. <gasps> That's awesome! I'm glad you got to do that! I did a little bit of that myself, too. Your audio just got weird for a second there? Oh, it does that sometimes. I don't know why. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for more co-working. Okay, bye! <laughs>